Welcome to All About the Bay. I'm your host, Paul LaJoy. Every week, we feature exciting interviews by exciting Bay Area residents. Who are these people? They're small business owners who know the Bay Area like the back of their hands, and they are here to meet your needs, whatever your needs may be. Today, I'm excited to present to you Mr. Zaz Khan. He's a large format printer. He's been here for a long time, and he's here to serve your needs. Hello, Mr. Khan. Hey, how are you, man? Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me here. The Fijian man. Yes. Oh my Fiji goodness. Islands. From Fiji Islands, a yes. beautiful place. Like Tony yeah, Robbins is. owns uh, an island there. It is, yeah. Why do you leave there and come here to, be, uh, to the area? I mean, to Hayward. A big opportunity doing bigger things in a bigger country. Oh, good. Yes. I would have thought, mm. man, okay, Fiji, okay. Yeah. I've never been there, but I see pictures. It's really nice. It's a nice, it's a nice vacation. Uh, it's very beautiful. Nice for vacation. Yeah. All right, but the opportunity is <laughs> right here in the Bay Area. Here, <laughs> in the heart of the Bay. Yeah. So where, where's your office? Uh, it's in Union City. Oh, Union City. I always yeah. thought it was Hayward. No, it was in Union City. I was in Hayward before. Okay. And um, one of my friends, um, uh, Mr. Jim Navarro, who was the vice mayor for Union City. Okay. So he wanted me to come to Union City. Had yes. A better location, better place. And I love it. Okay, nice. so you live in Union City too? Uh, no, I live in Hayward. Oh, okay, yeah, cool. That's why I always Hayward. associated you yeah, yeah. with. You said you you own a part of a Pepsi over there. <laughs> you own <laughs> shares of <in> Pepsi. <laughs> I wish I could. Wait a minute. Okay, so you've been in the printing business for how long? Um, I started uh, this uh, with one of my friends uh, who asked me if I could, you know, uh, go and see how he, what he's doing. Mm -hmm. So. Um, uh, 2004, I started uh, going to him and learning this. So basically, what, about 16 some years, 17 mm -hmm. years? Yeah. And then having my own business is about eight years now. Okay, so you said America is a land of opportunity and the Bay Area is. It so is. when you came to, you came, how long have you been in America? About 21 years. So you came from, okay, like you came here like 20, 2000. okay, 2000. Okay, good. So you, you landed in the Bay Area or where? Uh, actually, I came, uh, my port of entry was Hawaii. Uh, Hawaii? My, my sister lives there. Mm -hmm. So um, I came there to my sister's. Hawaii is just like another Fiji, but uh, okay. more like advanced mm -hmm. Fiji Islands. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's, it's just like from my words, I would say... Uh, from moving from one well yes. to another, okay. a little bit bigger, a yeah. <laughs> lot of lights. Okay. So uh, I decided to come to California. Okay. So I came here and... And you uh, landed in the Bay Area? Yeah, or in you? San Francisco, yes. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. And since then I'm here. So was it a shock for you when you came to America? Um, actually, uh, it's a long story, but cut it short. I came yes. for vacation. Oh, okay. Uh, actually, uh, um, my father-in-law passed away uh, here in USA. Mm. so. My wife wanted to visit his grave, mm -hmm. so in that sense we came here. And but while we we're in Hawaii, military took over Fiji. So my dad oh. said, like, if you could stay there and see if you could, you know, get your paperwork. So. Oh wow! The military took over <coughs> Fiji in the year two thousand. Two thousand, yeah. That was not the first time, was that? Uh, no, it wasn't. It was uh, probably I say, but. Second or third time. Okay, okay. Because I remember when I was in England, yeah. the military took over and England was trying to yeah, yeah, exactly. get involved yeah, yeah. in that. That's interesting. So you landed here in, in the Bay Area yeah. and you liked it. Oh, I loved it. Put it this way. Okay. And, and uh -huh. you, so you liked it. What do you like about it? Um, like, first of all, uh, compared to Fiji, Fiji mostly is one shift work. So from like 7 to 5 yes. or 5.30 people go home. Yes. And everything's like fades away just like so, england yeah so yes. over here like it didn't feel like a night or day uh -huh. everything is moving yes people are going so <coughs> and the chances of more uh, uh, job opportunities was uh, was a lot more mm -hmm. so when i came here so I applied for my paperwork uh to stay here meanwhile i was trying to see what is the best thing i could do what mm -hmm. is for me over here because this was not my field back then yes yeah we had a furniture business and uh, I used to, we used to in, uh, manufacture inner spring mattresses. Mm -hmm. So that was our main thing for hotel industries. Because Fiji is mostly tourism. Uh -huh. So I came here, tried to do something different. I became a butcher man too. 
I'm a professional butcher. Oh, man. butcher. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, so what were you killing? <laughs> uh, <laughs> cows? In, in, no, in the, <coughs> in, the, in the butcher shop. I uh-huh. cutting meat. What, what kind of meat they want. So, my friend, you're not killing. You're just no, killing. No, I'm just cutting <laughs> okay. them, giving them what, what, what they <laughs> okay. want. So what happened? My friend came to me and said, hey, uh, well, you want to learn something different? I mm-hmm. said, what different? He said, very different. I said, okay, it's about technology. Said, yes. Oh, cool. I said, come to me and take a look. Maybe when you're off and see how you like it. Mm-hmm. And when I went there, like that 15, 16 years ago, the technology wasn't that what is right now, mm-hmm. but that was that was the technology of that time. Right. And it was like kind of hi-fi that time. Mm. I said, oh, this is it, man. Yes. So I went, he started teaching me, and I, I just loved it, the how things are going. Yes. And he said, okay, yeah, just learn whatever you can. Mm-hmm. And then when you are all ready, you can have your own location. So yeah, I, I learned everything. I like the materials, the pricing, outdoor, indoor, mm-hmm. which is best temporary stuff, which material. And basically, I advanced from there. Wow. And then now, um, thank God, uh, I have a business which is about eight years old now. Right. And uh, printers, I, invented, uh, I, I invested in printers which not a normal sign shop has. Mm-hmm. So what they do now, I turn into a wholesaler. Yes. So the printers that other sign shops don't have, I help them out. I take their job and yeah. run them for them at a wholesale price, right. and uh, that that way that you know uh, oh, okay. most of them. It's now it's like a it's this in this kind of industry is about trust. Who mm-hmm. you trust? Right. So they trust me a lot. They send me the file. I get their job done, and they're happy. I'm happy. Mm. And uh, <clears throat> and uh, as of now, like we have less working customers because uh, during these eight years, people know me, and then I just they just text me or they send me the file over. Say, hey, this is it. Yes. and get it done so yeah we work really well with the other sign shops wow that's yeah. good yeah it's, okay it's, it's, it's a it's i'm very excited about it every morning i get up i'm excited about the day wow what you get sometimes <coughs> sometimes happens we don't know what's coming in but as soon as you open the door like just whatever it comes in you know mm-hmm. it just, mm-hmm. it's an become makes my day so wow. I'm, I'm really happy i'm really happy with it that's good uh, so yeah. who's your ideal client my ideal clients are uh Sign shops around the bay. Mm-hmm. So, I, I I went one time. I took some time out to go to them and introduce myself. That hey, I have this, and I invited them to my shop to see what I have mm-hmm. and what what I can do for you. Mm-hmm. So first, some of them they were a little hesitant because right. uh, they thinking of losing their client to somebody else. Okay. But uh, I created a trust in them that today they just forward their client's email to me right. with all the instructions and what to be done and I don't know the client I just mm. look at the instructions and really? get the file and print it right. and, uh, and I ask them if you want I can delete the email yes. so that you still feel comfortable so yes. we trust you that's so, interesting yeah and uh, I, I do that for them and people from the street there too uh, I have um, uh, a great Yelp review I have a great uh, Google review Yes. I have about 95 stars in Yelp and I have about 20 Four point nine nine percent yes. in Google. Wow! Uh, and uh, so they they do find me out, and I I work with them. Whoever comes to me, and uh, they know they know what they, what they want. If they don't know, I try to explain to them. This is what you need for this particular uh, event. So right. they're happy. They go. They write a review to me. So you do B to B or B to C? Both. I do. Okay. Both. Yeah. I see. Yeah. So what exactly do you print? Is there a large I, format large printing? Large format means. Uh, um, uh, the the banner printer that I have is one of the I think one of the fourth biggest printer in the Bay Area. Yes. So it's I can print up to ten and a half feet wide. Yes. By the roll is about one hundred and sixty feet. So basically, I can do one piece of that size. Right. And then I have a flatbed uh, direct to substrate printing, which is four by eight, and and I have other smaller ones and for keep up with the with the requirement. So yes. So they come to me and then I print for them. So and then who's your ideal referral partner then? Actually, it's a. Uh, I mostly rely on rely on um, word of mouth. Mm. So basically, we the major sign shops around the area that we know each other. Yes. So if I if I'm stuck with something, I call somebody who is who 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 knows this about the particular thing. Mm-hmm. So if if I call them, hey, I need to this uh, this to be done. Do you have know anybody? So they say, oh yeah, I know that guy. Mm. So if somebody calls them, hey, I need a bigger banner. Who right. who does it? So they refer it to me. Right. So that's how it's going on. Okay. And uh, if not, they somebody types on Google, say, uh, banners or something that it comes in their loca- location, so it sometimes shows me. So that's how. So what's your coverage area? I know, okay, now technology, emails, you say they can email yeah. you. 
you know, so it's, what's uh, your coverage I, area? I mostly work in the Bay Area. And okay. uh, there's certain clients that uh, they were here in Bay Area and moved out of state, but they still uh, give me jobs. To yes. Do. Yeah. So it's like uh, one of my uh, clients from here, uh, from Hayward actually, they moved to Texas. And the other day I got an email, he wanted some signs for the trucks. So he said, I said, it'll be, it'll be expensive, me shipping. He said, yes. don't worry about it. Right, I want right. you to do it. Really? So I, I did the signs. So you can actually do nationwide? I, if uh, they were paying for shipping. I, actually, I, the, my furthest customer that uh, I work with is New Jersey. Okay. Yeah. He's in That's New the East Coast. Yeah, yeah so you can do yeah. nationwide. Yeah. So long as they're willing to pay for yeah, it. Yeah, actually, exactly the same way. Uh, they came for our, for our event um, uh, in San Francisco, and the, the, the whole package got lost somewhere, and, and, and they needed it for next day. So right. I, I, I opened my shop for them, mm -hmm. and the guy said, you know what? From now on, you are my sign guy. Yes. Whenever I go, so I ship them. Right. I, I, whenever the the event is like sometimes last time there was in Florida, so right. I ship it to them. Right. That, that's how I'm working. Okay, that's yeah. cool. So what's your lead time? Um, my timing's pretty good, and my customers actually they know that okay the volume will take certain days, so right. they add few days extra from their side to their client. Mm -hmm. So I I work with them like sometimes there's one or two banners like next business day. Yes. Sometimes there's like. 50, so they take extra few days. Yes. They exactly know the production time themselves. Yeah. So we have a database of clients, people uh -huh. that bring your business on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. So, and you did mention Yelp yeah. and Google. Google yeah. So are you still looking for new clients? Um, they're always uh, good to have new clients. Yes. So what happens to a newer client is you get new knowledge. Yes. Actually, all these clients I know I exactly. They tell me this. I know exactly what they want. Right. And right. when new, newer client comes in with a new um, challenge, actually put it this way. Right. Okay. So I see that they want something that I haven't done before, or right. I maybe a few times. Yes. So I work with them. It's it's great to have one because the mm. older clients sometimes they're out of business or they retire or they say, you know what, yeah, we are done with that. So. And mm. new clients will always cover up and it's, it's, it's good to have good so you're looking for <laughs> more business yes, yes. okay on a regular basis so you've been in business working for yourself for the last eight years eight, eight, right yes, yes. so what's your vision you see yourself working for many more years or what um actually um any businessman wants to keep working right like any any if I accept. but uh, me same way I'm I'm a, also a human being yes I, I need to work and then everybody wants to grow to the next level right so what I did I think as for me a lot of lot of people they work for their kids uh, for their education yes. and everything like with me my my kids are all grown up and educated now yes so right. I try to mellow my stress level right right so sometimes <laughs> like you know I said okay this is enough for me uh, for my family to right. to feed and everything's right. good but as business comes in, you keep doing it. Right. We, we keep right. going. We just keep going. And my son, like, he graduated as an aircraft maintenance engineer. Yes. And uh, he's working towards his uh, FAA license. Okay. But he's still working with me. Right. So, okay. Yeah. He he works with me. So, okay. Yeah. It's, it's okay. You're still looking for new business and stuff. It uh -huh. says challenges, but also, you know, um, it, it, it still feeds you. I mean, yeah. like, okay, brings food to the table and stuff like that. Exactly. And you heard about our community, all about the Bay. Yes, uh, it was very interesting. Um, I, I'm a Bay Area guy. Yes. And I love Bay Area. Yes. I, I like uh, being here and serving my people here. Right. The only thing I request, it's, it's a request or like uh, just an extra knowledge that a lot of people nowadays, they, they prefer online. Yes. Okay. So what happens online? So every individual may be working for a nonprofit, right? Yes. And then they come back to us for, for donations and, mm -hmm. all that. and right. we give them the donations. But then when they go somewhere else for their business, like online, they won't give them donations. Right, we, right. If, if they come to me, like, I work, also work for a nonprofit, yes. like, no, three of them. Yes. So what, what we do for nonprofit, we try to give it a, a cost price. Right. Or sometimes when it's small, we just give it like that. Mm -hmm. So if, if they support us, yes. we can support our community here. Right. Yeah. So that's that's my thing. That if, if you come and support a local business, yes, the business will in return like feed you maybe twice as much right. as as we could do for the for, for our community in the Bay Area. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because people do business with people they know, like, and trust. Yeah. And that's how we created this thing. Exactly. I, right? I, I really I was really happy to hear this. And when uh, when I was told about this, I was kind of excited. They said, 
this was supposed to be done some time ago, but right. a, anyway, start. So I'm, 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 I'm really excited about this. Well, thanks for yeah. joining the yeah. community yeah. Yeah, and for you your so ac active participation. We really appreciate that. Thank you so much for having me here, actually. Yes. I, I was, um, this is my second interview um, uh, that I, I have, and uh, I'm just amazed to, right. uh, to, be, to be here. And uh, I also told my friends about this, and they have different kind of business that they're having. And I told them, they, they said, oh, really? Uh, I said, uh, to forward their contact yes. so that they could also join this group. Yes. And they're all Bay Area people. They, they yes. love this area. They, no matter how expensive it becomes, they're not leaving. Yes, <laughs> like right, me, right. But what happens, <laughs> I'm, I'm staying here. I'm a Bay Area. You make more money. So all you have to do is make yeah, some exactly, more money. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Some, some of them like traveling. They move to like, like probably other part of the right. like Bay Area. Like yes. They travel an hour or two. Uh, some guy know. yesterday, I was at a meeting, right, yeah. at the training. And right. this guy said, uh, Okay, he was talking to someone in uh, Alabama, uh, oh. Birmingham, Alabama, oh, wow. and and he says we want to see whose whose house is more expensive or more affordable. Right. Okay, in Birmingham, <laughs> Alabama, right? Mm -hmm. You buy a house for one hundred eighty thousand right. dollars, single family residence. Mm -hmm. Okay, and a few years later, okay, you sell the same house mm -hmm. and you only appreciate in value by maybe six thousand oh, okay. dollars. As opposed to in the Bay Area, you buy a house for one point five million. Okay. Mm -hmm. And a few years later, it's appreciated by five hundred thousand dollars. Exactly. Which house is better? <laughs> <laughs> and he was saying, that of course, of it's course cheaper to live in San Francisco than to live in Alabama. Right, right. And the reason for that is basically that there's no appreciation in Alabama. There's appreciation here. So guess what? Yeah. You know, that was. I think that was another a great <laughs> twist. <laughs> you know? what, what 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 I see like um, what people do is, they when they're young they come here they make whatever they can and everything and then later when they're when they mellow their life, like kind of, kind of do, go to retirement, yes. they sell their home and they move to a, a slower place yes. where they could buy a house for cheap, pay it off, and then have the rest of the money for yes. their, whatever their, yes. their life is, you know? Yes. So I, I know a couple of people who did that. Like a lot of people from Fiji Islands, they yes. came in like in early 80s or 70s. Uh, most of them, they have the property back home. Yes. There, and then they stay some time over there, then come some time over here. Right. I'll, yeah. I interviewed someone this morning about reverse mortgages, and this yeah. is what he said. Okay, so say for example, you are 62 years mm. or older mm. uh, in the Bay Area and you sell your house, okay, and you can take that money and you only pay 50% uh -huh. on the new house. You're downsizing. Oh, yes. Okay, yes. you're going to buy a house that is cheaper right. in this state or another state, right? Area, yeah. So you only put down 50%. Do you know you don't need to pay a mortgage? Oh, really? No, you don't. You're 62 and a half, 62 years and older. Shoot, you sell your house here in the Bay Area. Mm. Okay, you, you take $1 million with you. Mm -hmm. You go buy a house in Central Valley or out of state, Idaho, or anywhere, right. for 500000 That's a mansion there, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. All you need to put down is $250,000, and you don't have to pay a mortgage. Oh, wow. It's called reverse mortgage. Reverse mortgage. Oh, nice. So guess what happens with that money, all that money that they had mm -hmm. from the Bay Area? Right. They can live, um, they can tour the world, they can travel <laughs> anywhere. So anywhere. it's still a great place to be in. Even though it's challenging for most people, mm -hmm. or for a lot of people, but it's still great because you have innovation here. Right. And that's why you came here, you came, went into technology. Exactly. You know, so, yeah. so it's a great place to be in, and that's why we are excited about it, and whatever we can do yeah, yeah. to help small business owners like yeah. yourself, exactly. we would do it. Exactly. You know? like coming here was, my, was the best decision of my life. Mm -hmm. but I'll put it this way, I'll, mm -hmm. just, I'll tell my kids, and anybody who's it, this is coming here is the best decision I ever make. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. And now I have my I have my own thing going on. Yes. I back home was something different. But yes. Here, like opportunities, you know, access to everything is much easier. Now I guess when you go to Fiji, right, uh -huh. you can buy a little piece <laughs> of island there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. Okay. Yes. It, thank okay. You Thanks for having me on the show. Thank you so much, and right. I really appreciate uh, uh, your time and having me here. And the Barrier Networks rocks. Okay. Cool. So you've been. Uh, listening to a good man here, you know, uh, light form, format printing. If you're a printer and you're looking for a partner, you can talk to him, right? Sure. And also, um, if you are looking for a referral partner, you know, in whatever, whatever format, you know, um, you can talk to him. But as we said, we feature exciting people, and today we didn't let you down because Mr. Khan is a great man to go to when you're looking for uh, maybe a car wrap or you're looking for a banner or whatever. I mean, the person to call is him. Thank, Thank you. you for watching. Thank you. You can contact me at 510-427-9527.
My email is fastbannersandscience at gmail.com. My website is fastbannersandscience.com. And contact me, and you're going to reply uh, as soon as I can. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you know of any small business owners who would like to take advantage of our lively interviews, please ask them to contact us at service at allaboutthebay.org. And remember to subscribe to our channel as we post new interviews there weekly.